Alternatively, shh, I can show you the world. Hey guys, how's it going? Dan here from Hemp Tech. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know before purchasing an electric scooter. Coming up in today's video, we're gonna be talking scooter laws, we're gonna be talking budget, so which one of these would be right for you, and we're gonna be talking maintenance to hopefully help you make the right decision. As you know, the demand for these has never been higher with the Department of Transport wanting more and more people off of public transport, out of cars and using more green alternatives. The electric scooter is the most popular of these options. So the first thing I'm gonna do is talk scooter law and make it really, really simple. You need to be over 18 to use one of these. You can't be on public paths. It needs to be on either cycle paths or allocated roads, like for example, in Park Lane in London. And you need to have at least a provisional driver's license. If you have these three things, you can use your electric scooter. Anyone you see using one of these, not on private land, is actually using it illegally. And this is why it's a bit of a gray area because I know people for a fact that use these every day to get to work my neighbour uses his to get to the train station every morning. They have all gone past policemen, police cars, and they have never had any problems or been pulled over. In fact, just today while we've been filming, I have literally seen at least five people riding past uh, university security. Uh, there was even a policeman at one point and no one got stopped. So I'm not saying that you're not gonna get caught. What I am saying is from what I've seen, Unless you're riding one of these like an idiot, you're probably not gonna get pulled over and stopped by the police. Now, places like Milton Keynes have a year-long trial of using electric scooters, and so far it's going really, really well. It's not the law to wear a helmet, but I'd highly recommend it. So now that we've spoke through the laws, let's look at the next thing, which for me would be budget. I've got two scooters here with me today. If your budget is low, you're gonna be looking at something like this. And if you've got a higher budget, you're gonna be looking at something like this. So I'm just gonna go through some of the pros and cons of each of these types of scooters now. Let's look at the cheaper option. First thing you'll see is it's got way less features. It's also gonna be lighter weight, which means a smaller battery and less range. And at the bottom here, arguably the most important thing, it's the tires. You've got solid tires. Now solid tires are great because there's low maintenance and they're puncture proof. But if you're going to be putting in some serious miles, I'd recommend air-filled tyres. The main reason for this is overall comfort and grip. So if we look at the higher end option, for example, it's got air-filled tyres and it's got a suspension to go with it. So this is going to be a lot more comfortable for those longer journeys. So if you're going to be putting in a lot of commuter miles, it might be worth the extra two, three hundred pounds to get a scooter like this. Not only that, but with the higher friction levels you're going to get with these thicker tyres, and the disc brakes, it's gonna be a safer option. And for me personally, two, 300 pounds extra for safety is nothing. Now a downside to the higher spec model is it's gonna be heavier, but that might be something that you need. If you're 50 kilograms and you're flying around on this, it's gonna be absolutely fine. You're gonna have a whale of a time. But if you're 100 kilos, 110 kilos, something like this one is gonna struggle a lot more to get you around and the battery's gonna deplete way quicker. So you're gonna need something that's heavier with the bigger battery and that more powerful motor. The last thing we're gonna talk about in today's video is maintenance. Whether you've bought this one or this one, you're gonna want your scooter to last as long as possible. A lot of this is gonna come down to looking after the battery. Now, both of these scooters use lithium ion batteries, and there's a couple of things you need to know about these to increase its longevity. The first thing is to make sure you never deplete the battery completely. You always wanna keep a little bit of juice in the battery. And if you can keep it above 50%, that is even better. So you've used your scooter for the day, make sure you charge it as soon as you get home. The second thing is gonna to be to do with storage. If you're not gonna use one of these for a while, don't just leave it in the cupboard for six months. That's gonna do the battery no good. Make sure you get it out of the cupboard at least once a month and charge it up. Another thing to do is make sure after maybe five, six charges to run the battery flat completely and then charge it straight away. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you use the recommended charger. It's gonna be really easy for you to lose the charger and just pick up any old thing. You have to use the one that comes in the box with your scooter. Here's something I feel everyone should know. When I was younger, I had a micro scooter and to stop, you actually put your foot on the back mudguard. 
do not do that with one of these. That doesn't work anymore. When you get one of these scooters out of the box, please, please, please make sure that you go over all of the nuts and bolts, make sure they're tightened. And if you're really not sure, take it to someone to inspect it thoroughly. For example, Halfords. And I would recommend that every year you take it somewhere like that to get inspected. And the last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is temperature. In the UK, in one day, you can go from winter to summer. It can go from freezing cold to absolutely roasting for no reason whatsoever. If it's cold, you're not gonna get as much distance out of your battery, that's just a fact. Alternatively, if it's very hot, it's gonna be hard to charge your battery. So make sure you're doing things like charge your battery in a cool room and store it in a cool, dry place. So to conclude, there's a reason that these are so popular. Like, th there seems to be no downsides. They're cheap, they're reliable, they're quick, they're fun, practical, and they're saving the planet. Like, this, th what else do I need to say? They're absolutely incredible. For me personally, I'm gonna be spending the extra 300 pounds and buying this one because I'm about 85, 90 kilos depending on the time of year. And for me, this one with all the features is the one that I'd be going for. It just looks awesome, it's fast, and you know it's gonna get you from A to B safely and effectively. So, the video's over. You want one of these scooters, where do you get one? Well, you're in luck. I know an amazing place to pick up one of these scooters for a fantastic price. It's called the Scooter Store. I'll leave a description in the link below. They're gonna be able to sort you out with one of these as well as many other scooters. And I've even got a discount code of HempTech5 to get 5% off your first purchase. And just a cheeky little tip, I'd make sure you go on the website on Black Friday to find potentially the best deal they've ever done. So guys, that's it from me. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.